Hello everybody, this is Rabbi Joey here with Psychonauts. Now, this is a game that I'd always wanted to play before and all of that, and I never just got around to playing it. I don't even know why. I remember it used to be on one of the consoles we owned before, we just never got it. So, this game, it looks interesting, and it's one of those, like, same type of things, I guess, like Jack and Daxter, which, as you know, is one of my favorite games of all time, uh, along with Okage, <laughs> and probably Earthbound, or the Mother series, whatever you want to say. But, yeah, it's like one of those games, and it has kind of the same character feel, I guess you'd say, as Okage. You have weird looking people in this game. But either way, because there is a sequel on the horizon for this game, I kind of want to get in and play it. See what happens on this. So, either way, I'm going to start a new game. And see where The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter. A three-pound pile of dreams. And I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. <laughs> oh, Mori. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, Nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa! Light monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kid, get in! Ugh. My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. <laughs> but everybody calls me Raz. Compelling. Armored like a tank. Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. 
Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? L listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man <laughs> taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. <laughs> Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once, kind of. But... Now I wear this special hat. Wanna try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. I don't know this game's silly. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Settle down in here! Big day tomorrow! I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot! I'm the early bird, and you're the worms! Got it? Lights out! This game's silly. <laughs> Already. Hello? Hi. Who are you? Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? Look over that way if you will. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me if you will. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a side core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, 
You'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. Okay. Change your camera preferences. Press da 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 Okay. Hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! I okay. love Coach Oleander! He's so nice! And he knows everything! Where is it? Yep. Why? 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 There. <laughs> Your first arrowhead. Arrowheads are made of titanium, a rare psychoreactive mi mineral, which makes them very valuable. You can use arrowheads to buy items at the camp store and other places you find. Okay. Get one of these. Uh, I found a psych card. But you need a psych core. Okay. Yay! So, Coring. you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna... Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come on. Okay. Is that bird glowing? Now it's going through the building. Okay, fine. Whatever. Weird bird. How about and you? And by worst, did you possibly mean the best? Because that's what I was thinking. No, I meant worst, as in I can't even believe we're friends, it's so bad. Look deeply into your heart, Phoebe. And I think you'll find that even you believe the Levitators is pretty much the dopest name a band could ever have. The Levitators? Uh, are we some sort of cover band that only plays graduation ceremonies for motivational seminars? I've been practicing, and I think I could levitate us both during our gigs. For real now. <laughs> no way! Last year you dropped me and I broke my drums. Hey, at least those got fixed. I'll never get back those records you melted with that unplanned pyrotechnics display of yours. Look, you know when I have a good solo going, sometimes things get hot. I can't help it. And it seemed like part of the show if we named the band the right thing. Oh, not this again. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please. Would you please welcome... No, the Firestarters. Oh, man. <sighs> if we're gonna call it that, we might as well call it Burning Itch. What? The Whispering Rockers. Oh, uh, what? That's my band name idea. Why aren't you guys in Coach Oleander's class? Are you kidding? A kid got killed in that class last year. I heard it was a bunch of kids, Phoebe. Well, I heard it was a bunch of blind kids, and the coach threw them off a cliff. What? Yeah, <laughs> because they were late for class. You'd better hurry, kid. Now, where were we, Quinn? Hey, how's everybody tonight? You feeling itchy? I said, you feeling itchy? Or what? You'll burn me? You know you can't burn me. You got a blow? You know that cabin is empty, right? Duh. I'm practicing for tonight when it's gonna be full of ladies. You're like That kind of thing nine. takes practice. Um, excuse me, but my parents let me watch R-rated movies, so I think I know a little bit more about this than you do, okay? You're still, like, nine. Here, pretty bird. Stupid lame people. Hey. Mm. Hello, how are you? I'm telling you for the last time, no! I would never do that. I could never kill everyone. Oh, hi, Raz. Squirrel trouble? They're liars is all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there. As soon as I get these guys to shut up. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. He blew up the squirrels. Very good. So. You, new boy. Seen bear lurking in woods? Nope. Positive. Giant, hairless bear? Nope. In Russia, bears much smaller. Also more hair. Less lurking. Always eager to wrestle. This one, hide and run. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, bear. Why do you want to wrestle, bear? <laughs> ah! Nah. -uh. The rest of camp is off limits until you have a basic braining merit badge. Now get! Okay. Sure, old man. Dang. Oh. Uh -oh. I don't know where that astronaut kid is, though. I thought there was a card there. <laughs> or an arrowhead. Hey, where are you going, Maloof? Shh! I snuck out! That class is a death trap for crazy people! Listen. Coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser. Or you'll be coughing a bloody tear. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> Benny, put this kid dead on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield. Your journal is a great place to see what you've done so far and plan what you're going to do next. You can use it to save and load your progress, change your options, and then there's a helpful map in the back. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Hello, birdie. Baby birdie. Okay. Alrighty. Whatever. <laughs> they seem to all be in a trance while they astrally project themselves into the coach's sight, which is awesome. Which is awesome. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. Whoops. Sorry. Hey, Chloe. What are you doing? Coach uses this to broadcast his thoughts across the camp. I think I can tune it to reach my people in space. Okay. Weird. Whatever. Let's Coach get into Olander, it. I'm reporting for basic braining. Son, you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind. You will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It'd be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? I think I'm ready. I'm ready, sir. Well then... You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me 20. world it looks like a dentist office a mental dentist office <laughs> it's a recruiting office kids and I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world being a psychonaut it's about fighting a war for mental freedom are you ready to face torture insanity and death because this is your last chance to chicken out oh me sir I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier! But you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting! I want one of you chickens to sock me square in the jaw. I warn you, once you do, the war is on. 
Okay. Right on the chin! I'm looking! Do Shut it! Up. Okay, fine. Whatever. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's charge! <laughs> what kind of obstacle course is this? Dead? That kid <laughs> just got killed! A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here, too, if you don't get moving right now. Really? We. Yep. Okay. Hello. How are you? Relax. That's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. They help you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. Come on, get okay. that figment. Your first figment. Collect 100 figment points and you'll be promoted. If you get promoted to a high enough rank, you will earn new psychic abilities. Yay! Yeah, piggy, piggy! Who's coaches, little piggy? Oink, oink, oink! Hey, what are you staring at? We all have emotional baggage, kid. Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. Okay. I need, I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. <laughs> there it is! Now, you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found. Unless you'd rather just drop and give me 20 right now! No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Onward and upward, soldier! What? You hit that ladder hard, son. Show it who's ball. Okay. Got those big means. Pigments. Sounds like I'm saying big bits. It's kinda silly. We hey. You'll have plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. We Ah. No. Yep. Hey. Hey. Okay. 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 Watch out! Fire down below! Ah! Uh, come on. Okay. Thank you. We. We. Hello, asshole. <laughs> we can't get past this. This is stupid. Hmm. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry. What? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? <laughs> Bobby Zeltz's foot, that's what! You stupid new kid! Yeah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm. No. Okay. Less waiting, more motivating! No. 
What? What? Where'd I go? Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to go here. <laughs> Not yet. Let's see. Is there anything else? Maybe? way around it. Onward and upward, soldier! Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Ah. Okay. Now we're good. Now I gotta wait. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Any day now? Yay. I got it. <laughs> There was a dude being. I was very confused. Okay. Good, I guess. Yeah. Is your name Joey? No. Because no. I'm gonna call you Slowy Joey. That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya. You're talking too slow. <laughs> this <is> silly. <laughs> Another one down there. Dang, my bowels move more than you do, Pokey. I'm trying. Dick, you. Where is this guy? Where is he going? Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Okay. Oh god. 
Spider. Now that kind of wall, you can climb it up, down, sideways, whatever way you want. Just get on it, quick, like a monkey. Yeah. Hey, slow down, kid. If you pass me your body, you'll make us all die, and Bobby will pound you down. Bobby, can you hear me? Where are you? Don't leave me alone out here, Bobby. It's game day, kid! Watch those mines, kid. They'll blow you up like a ten-cent kazoo. Hey, Dogen. What's wrong? I keep blowing up. Uh, follow me. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. I can't do it. I can't do it! There you go up. I blew up. Ha! Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. Contribute value to your airheads in small amounts, but I think you'll find they add up over time. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and get these pigments. You're like molasses going uphill in January with crutches. With crutches? <laughs> Why would molasses have crutches? Answer me that, huh? your progress. Do the thing. Okay. Lee. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna end this episode here off here because we've been recording for a long time. Longer than I usually do. So either way, this is Rawa Joy signing off. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! It's game day, kid. Shut up. And the Good. I'm good with that.